Yo, 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 what's up, guys? How you guys doing? I um, got off work early today. So, uh, you know, still tired, but it is what it is. <clears throat> had a good, had a, had a, 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 a fake decent night last night. Um, hope you guys had a good day. Uh, today, before we get into this video, hey, go ahead and like and subscribe, man, if you want. If you don't, it is what it is. I'll earn it. Um, uh, today, I'm going to bring you guys... Uh, I want to try to try to bring you guys something different today. Uh, I want to I want to go with like a hybrid video like DFS and bets. I just want to point out a few extra things because I got a lot of viewers that look for um, <clears throat> uh, you know they like they like to do prop bets like as you see right here, and I just you know us as DF DFS players. I think prop bets cater to us in a major way. If you're eligible to play this, especially on FanDuel, same game parlay, or whatever you want to, you know, whatever you want to do, your fan, your um, your 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 your, your sport book of choice. Uh, I wouldn't mind, you know, I you know I advise you to look into prop bets, you know. But this right here is what you call a same game parlay, and you know this is a ticket that I had on my last video. You can go back and check that, and I'm showing you guys the results of that. It actually hit, and uh, you know. So, uh, oh, and why do I have this lineup right here? Uh, I want to show you guys. That's not my lineup, of course. <clears throat> but you know, uh, anytime I come into a DFS tournament or whatever you want to call it, I'm a single, I'm a single lineup type of guy, and uh, you know, anytime I go into a tournament I always aim for the top I mean you know, that's the only thing you know uh, even they so damn top heavy but you know it is what it is but uh, our lineups are pretty much identical and uh, I just wanted to point out in my last video my last DFS video I was saying that uh, Bogdan Bogdanovich was my favorite play from that from that Utah game had I went to just stick with the chalk and just went with wood, I would. I'm a thousand percent sure I would have ended up on Bogdanovich. Instead, I was quick. I was pretty sure that Anthony Davis was going to be out. I had went to sleep, and uh, I mean that LeBron James was going to be out. I went to sleep, so I tried to be sneaky and play, play, try to be cute and, try, and play Anthony Davis, and then I fell on on. Whatever the fuck his name is, it's hard for me to pronounce his name, but you you know where I'm getting at. And it didn't pan out for me. It didn't pan out for me. It could have, because I could have easily gotten 15 more points from him and 20 more points uh, from 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 Anthony Davis, but it just didn't work that way. You know, chasing that, and we would have had to end up splitting that that same 50 G's that I was trying to trying to win. Uh, a couple of weeks ago in my NFL video, you could probably check that out if you hadn't seen that. But any, anyway, I just want to point that shit out. You know, that's neither here or there. And like I said, I want to try to, uh, I want to try to like get to like a hybrid video where I could point out some uh, some things for my sports for my prop betters out there because I got a lot of people that like to bet prop prop bets. Shout out to my group, you know and everybody else uh let's see if i can add a little bit of that uh that detail to this video you know along with my uh, player breakdown and uh price discrepancies that i look for and, and you know and all of that between both sites uh so let's get into it we're gonna start at the point guard position uh start right off at the top westbrook Definitely in play. Uh, up up pace matchup, man. Under 10k. O over on Fanduel, he's over 10k. So you can see the price discrepancy right there. Uh, Curry, he's in play. He's all they got right now. To Ubre and the rest of those guys step up like real men. Uh, go to stay at Detroit. Um, I definitely like both of those guys. Uh, ben Simmons. Uh, I I'd imagine. Uh, I'd imagine, I'd imagine, um, 
Joel Embiid would be back tonight. So, you know, that's like a wait and see approach. Uh, Shy Gibbs is Alexander. Probably a, he's probably gonna be a no for me. Uh, he's coming in at 8,100 over here. He's probably priced similar to the same on, on on FanDuel. He's probably just a he's probably a no for me. Given this slate, I know he he can give you five times with that price. He's playing a ton of minutes, but uh, man, I need a little bit more. I need a little bit more. I need a little bit more. I don't like the k the pace that. I don't like the pace that uh, Orlando plays, but, you know, he does have a good matchup, man. It's just a wait-and-see approach. I don't know. It is what it is. Anyway, moving along, we get Jim Butler out, so, you know, we, get, we got the pivots there. Um, D'Angelo Russell. Uh, with, this, with this game here, Minnesota and the Clippers, you're going to get – we got an injury there. We're going to get uh, a Koji out. He's most likely out. And then you got uh, Big Cat. He's most likely out. So, man, he <clears throat> just needs him to get back to his old ways, man. If he get back to his old ways where he want to, you know, chuck, that, chuck them 20, 25 shots up, if you feel like he's going to do that today, then he's definitely a good play, man. Definitely a good play. I think he's about 7K or either 7, 7,100 on FanDuel, man. We need we need this right here or upwards of this. Uh, 20 to 25 shots from this guy, you know, especially in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a game environment that they're going to be in. I think it's, I think it's going to happen too, but he's due for a blow, blow up spot, you know. So, uh, He's definitely in play for GPPs. Uh, De'Aaron Fox, he's in play. Definitely in GPPs. I don't know if I'll get there. Lowry and, you know, Lowry and Fair Van V, they're ready to blow up any any minute. You just got to wait on it. You know, be lucky to be on it. Uh, they play a lot of minutes. Uh, Malcolm Brogdon, probably a yes for me, but... Definitely yes if I'm going multiple lineups, but you know, he can fill the stat sheet. He gives you a little bit of everything. Just faced him, gave him a 41 uh, fantasy point performance, 25 points, five and five. He's efficient. He's he's shooting. He's shooting. You know, for the last three games, he's you know probably over 50 percent. So you know, yeah, you know, he's in play. Uh, Chris Paul. In this matchup, he can I can see him racking up assists. Seventy one price tag over here. Similar on Fanduel with seventy three. I just don't, you know, he just flashed the upside. He had fifty five fantasy points. I just don't know fifty four in, in, in against Sacramento, but I just don't know what to expect. In thirty three minutes, he came back and played twenty seven minutes, so he's all over the place as of right now. Jamal Murray, the price is sexy. This was where we want him at, but Jokic is really playing the point center role right now because he don't want to, he don't want to act right and be a, be a be a good point guard. But you know the Saxons, uh, he's definitely in play. Holiday, the price is coming down on him. You know, uh, Kobe White going up against Washington. I like him. I like him. I like to play, target players against guys like I like to target players against guys like uh, Westbrook, uh, even players against LeBron James. You know, those are my two favorite players to target, man. You know, especially high volume, high usage players, because you know players like Westbrook and, and James they don't want to get in foul trouble. They know how valuable they are to their teams and. You know, players that tend to go off on them. So, I really like them on FanDuel where you're going to get them at about under 6K. Yeah, 5,900. In this matchup against Washington, a lot of run and gun. Uh, one of my top uh, play, one of my top games, probably my favorite game for same game parlay action. So, uh, keep, that in, keep that in mind, man. Keep that in mind. 
It's gonna be a lot of bricks, shoot, a lot of bricks, a lot of bricks, a lot of rebounds, a lot of assists going on up in that, up in that game. Uh, Victor Oladipo probably won't be getting to him. Folks, I like him. He's in play. 6,100. I don't know what his price is. on. Uh, he's 62. It's probably similarly Bledsoe. Going back to Phoenix, it's a no for me. I don't even care. Goran Dragic, no, um, no, um, no, no Jimmy Butler. I love the play. Love the play. I love the play. Um, Tyler Hero, he probably will move into the Starting lineup. Jimmy Butler is doubtful. I ain't gonna say no, Jimmy Butler. He's doubtful though. Tyler Hero, he needs a bounce back game, man. He needs a, he needs a get right game. You know what I'm saying? He needs a get right game. Uh, you see, he, is, he hasn't hit 30 fancy points. I know he's supposed to be around the 30 fancy point range, man. Definitely a GPP option. Uh, Alfred Payton GPP option. He has upside. So at uh, I was on him these first two games. You know how up and down um, Alfred Payton can be. He's coming. How much is he on FanDuel? He's 4,800 on FanDuel, man. He's 4,800. You know how up and down he can be. He's not a good player for cash, but he's definitely uh, viable in GPPs. And uh, he might need to take a couple extra shots. He did go 12 for 16, as you can see right there. You, you can't count on that. But this peripheral game is pretty nice, man. So, uh Somebody to look out at. Uh, and then Delia, you know, the Lou Williams and Ricky Rubio. Lou Williams, though, he could be sneaky, man. In a blowout, in a blowout scenario, uh, I don't they got their ass toe up last game. So he only played nine minutes. He's at forty six hundred on FanDuel, man, and he's fifty one hundred on DraftKings. And, you know, these these boys need to bounce back after that game. So, you know, that's some that's something you can look at. Uh, he can light their ass up. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Uh, Delon Wright, uh, uh, Rose and Rose and um, Blake Griffin should be back. So, but he still should get that same allotment of minutes. Notice he only played how many minutes did he play last night? He played 22 minutes last night. So he should still he should he should hit that that that. You know, he should hit that no matter what. And then it's Golden State versus Detroit. Another another game. This is probably my second favorite game for, uh, or probably neck and neck for same game parlays. Again, you got Wiggins out there. You're going to have Wiggins out there shooting bricks. You're going to have, you're going to have Ubre out there. If he continues to do what the fuck he's been doing, because he ain't been shooting nothing but bricks. So, you know, it's going to be plenty of rebounding opportunities, assist opportunities. You know how it is. Uh, so, you know, DiVincenzo's, and then, you know, we're getting down here to the to the garbage, to the garbage, to the, to, to the to, I mean, to the um, to the dirty clothes. And, you know, these guys, I probably won't be on them. Killian Hayes. Uh, and then you're going to have a lot of people that's going to have tunnel vision, man, like going off these performances from – from from today, from yesterday, and bringing them on over here, and you know, like with Detroit, for example, they had injuries. You know what I'm saying? So people are gonna be on these guys, thinking they're gonna be doing the same shit, and it's not, it's not, it's not gonna fly. Moving over to the, uh, moving over to the shooting guard position. Uh, shit, uh, we got uh, Bradley Beal coming in at the top. He's definitely in play. He's high. I probably won't have him. I probably won't, but something to see. He's in play, but I probably won't have him. That game is that game should be juicy though, man. This game they should have put up a lot of points, and like I said, a lot of bricks, a lot of stats. So that's you know that's something to keep in mind. Devin Booker, he's coming in at seventy five hundred on Fanduel and ninety one hundred on DraftKings. Big time. What's that? Sixteen hundred dollar price discrepancy between both sites. One thing I'm missing. I, I Booker was probably one of my most owned. Uh, shooting guards last year, and I just haven't been on them this year for the simple fact that they have Chris Paul. I miss Point Booker. I just don't like Chris Paul over there getting in his way, hampering his upside. I just think he's better with a, a lower tier point guard. That way he can handle the ball a little bit more. And for those reasons, I'm probably out, even though it's a juicy matchup. Going up against New Orleans, this is another. 
this is another this is another uh game that's high up there on uh the uh on my um same game parlay list. Paul George coming in at the uh at the two. Mm, he's eighty five hundred. I don't know. I prefer him on FanDuel at seventy six hundred. Zach Lafine, same thing over here, seventy five hundred on FanDuel. This is where I play him at. Uh definitely in play. Um Jalen Brown. What you gonna get over there in Boston? You're gonna get you're gonna get you're gonna get you're gonna get you're gonna get, you're gonna get uh Jalen Brown and then you're gonna get Jason Tatum. These are the boys that are putting up the shots. Thirteen to twenty four, eleven to twenty five. Then you get here. This this matchup was probably a slower paced matchup, so you know they wasn't moving as fast, you know, shit like that. It's something to keep an eye out on. They was going up against Indiana. It's a back it's another it's a it's a rematch tonight. So, you know. When you get them in, when you get them in those faster paced matchups, that's when you get see his numbers were down. Slower paced matchup. Uh eighteen points, two rebounds, four assists, uh thirteen shots. He takes double those shots in faster matchups, you know. He, you know, he doubles those rebound totals. And his assist is, up, you know, you see, it's similar. But, you know, he can give you some in each spot. So, he's probably a guy that I'm off. Uh, like I said, we touched on him. Uh, Buddy Hill, he's going to shoot that rock. It's just, if that's what you're looking for, he's a little bit high on DraftKings, on FanDuel. He's probably coming in about 6K, I believe. But, oh, no, he's coming in at 5,400. So, there you have it. Uh, and then, you know, you got Andrew Wiggins. Uh, he's in play. I'm not playing him, but he's in play. Um, Ali Bird's out. Uh, Evan Fournier, he's a no for me. I don't give a fuck what he do. Terrence Edwards, I mean, Anthony Edwards, he's an interesting play here. His usage should go up. You see he took 21 shots last game. There will be no big cat. He's the number one pick. He needs to... He needs to. He needs to. He needs to run, man. So he's coming in at 5,400. A cheap option on Fanduel. He's at the small four position. What? What's his price? Uh, 4,900. Sneaky game. Sneaky game for uh, same game parlay. You know, prop bets. Minutes equals opportunity. So, uh, you know. The more, the longer you're out there, you know, the long, you know, you know, the longer you, I mean, the more opportunities you get. Terrence Ross, he's looked like he's on a mission this year. You see, if you see what he's been doing, he's been taking at least, what, 14, 15 shots a game, which is good. Uh, going up against OKC, they can, you know, he, I can see him, I can, I can see him taking advantage of these young boys over there. He's definitely a play. I might like him a little bit more on FanDuel because he's, he's, he, I think he's about 4700 And I like that price. Oh, he's 54 so he's priced around the same. My bad, my bad, my bad. So he's definitely in play. And then, you know, uh, the Duncan Robertsons, you know, he pops that thing. He's a shooter. Um, Curry, he's a no for me. And uh, we're getting down here to the dirty clothes again. Ah, so while we're right here, I like to, I'll, I'll touch on, okay, I'll touch on Dort. Young boy, losing his door. If you watched last year, you seen him get a chance to play a little bit more. Going up against Orlando, uh, it's a menace thing for me with him. He's going to be out there. Him and the rest of the starters, they're going to be out there for a nice amount of minutes, man. And like I say, minutes equal opportunity. Uh, he's going to get his shot. Whatever shot he wants, he's going to get it. Uh, so if you have to look for a prop bet or something like this, you know, you can look to him. He's, I think he's a viable option, you know, going down the line. <clears throat> Jerry Cover might have a bigger role today with, with Cat out, and then you're going to get Okoji out. So he's some, he's a cheap option to look at. And, uh, oh, Avery Bradley, Avery Bradley. He stepped in last game. He played about, what, 25 minutes, 28, 28 minutes. Um, somebody who I won't be messing with by any means necessary, but on FanDuel, you'll probably get him about, 
you might get them in the 3k range man so that's a that's a that's a cheap option with um with 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 Jimmy Butler out and uh Kendrick Nunn not getting the minutes so uh they probably been waiting on him to see what he can do so there you have it uh JJ Redick he's a no for me all he does is shoot and then you got dirty clothes let's keep it moving let's keep it moving small four spot Kawhi Leonard, he's a no for me. I don't give a fuck if he plays or not. Uh, Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum takes a lot of shots. He's a little bit more efficient than Jaden Brown. But, you know, he takes a lot of shots. Last game he got off, though. He uh, going up against Boston again. Uh, I mean, going up against um, Indiana again. He gave them 48 fantasy points. He is a guy that's going to get his rebounds. He gets five or better rebounds a game. That, that's something I like about Tatum. He gets his boards. Then uh, on FanDuel, I think he's priced at about almost 10 k What is it? 9200 So, for you know, he takes his shots. First game, 30. 28 shots, uh, 22-21, you know. So, uh, that's something to look at. Uh, Brandon Ingram, he's definitely in play. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get to him, uh, but he's in play. This should be a good game. Uh, New Orleans against Phoenix. This should be a good game. Uh, I definitely want to try to watch that game, but I won't be able to because I'll be at work. Sucks. But anyway. And uh, Tobias Harris, he's just in that mid-range spot. This is definitely a no for me. Just There's other plays on the slate. Uh, Jeremy Grant. Uh, at that price, he's a no for me. Um, he's probably priced uh, maybe similar. What did they do? Did they adjust his price? He's 57 on 100 on FanDuel, so, nah. Um, Bridges, man. Some guy who I've been overlooking. I've been overlooked. He's been putting out some fake, decent, fancy numbers, but I, I probably continue to overlook him, even though the matchup is good, man. The matchup is good. Uh, Man, Will Barton, Sacramento is cluttered over there, man. I mean, uh, Denver is cluttered over there. It's hard for these guys, other than Jokic, to give to put out um, some upside on their price tag, man. You know, they they doing everything they can out there. Everybody out there trying to eat, you know. Everybody out there trying to eat. I, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll be off of him. There's an interesting play, T.J. Warren. Definitely interested on, um, definitely interested on uh, Fanduel. He come, you'll get him at fifty one hundred on Fanduel. I was checking him out. I know his price. Um, yeah, you'll get him at fifty one hundred on Fanduel. So he's somebody who's gonna take and take his shots. He's gonna make most of them. Most of the time, he's gonna make most of them. So he's a big time shot taker. You know, he just you know if his peripheral is there, then. You know, then he can return you, you know, some upside on that price tag. So I like him on FanDuel, man. And you know, if you watched the bubble last year, he he was he was blowing up. So uh, he's someone you can look to, especially on FanDuel. Ubre, I wouldn't mind taking a stab at Ubre, man, because he can score. He can score. He can score. He said fifty six hundred on DraftKings on FanDuel, and around the same on DraftKings, he can score. He's, he's got a spot. He's in a good spot, too, man. He, he can score it up, you know. So, hey, it is what it is, man. And then we're getting down here. Harrison Barnes, still a no for me. I don't give a fuck what he's been doing. OG, he, he just had not been showing upside. He has been hitting value, though. He's been, he hasn't been showing upside like that, man. He's been hitting value, though. He gets all the minutes. All the minutes, and you know these guys, Toronto, the starters, they get they get hella minutes, they get hella minutes. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, and then the rest of these guys probably a no for me, man. I I won't be digging down there like that. Uh, you got Williams, the Hearts, you know. The rest of these guys are probably knows for me. Here's an interesting play if <clears throat> if Kawhi out, you can go right back to the well. On um, Nicholas Batum, you can go right back to the well on him. He's probably priced similar on both sides. Fanduel probably caught on and priced him up. If we can get ten real points out of his ass on a regular basis, that'll be fine. Shit, uh, 
They got their ass blew out last game, so we ain't even going to take that into consideration. But I can see him dropping some dimes, you know, get, you know getting rebounds here. So he's definitely some in, in play. And then uh, that's probably it for that. We'll move on over to the next power forward slot. Yep. Uh, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> I don't really have to touch on ABC because y'all know what it is, man. Y'all know what it is. Sabonis, so this, this guy has been ultra efficient, man. Uh, going up against the Boston again. And uh, he had 41 fantasy points, man. Uh, he, he still got around his same amount of shot up, shot attempts up. You know, it is what it is, man. Uh, he, he, he almost hit 60, man. So, you know, as of right now, that's the ceiling for this year. And, uh, man, his usage, you know what I'm saying? His peripherals, they are there. I don't mind the play. I, I might not be on them, but trust me, I don't mind the play, man. They price similar on both sides, man, 86 and 8,900. Julius Randle, stuff, stat stuffer right here, man. Uh, especially if you get love. I, if you get love, if you get love starting, um, I have to check the stats. I think love hurt. I don't know, I, but we'll see. Matter of fact, let me see right now. Is Love hurt? Mm. He's out. So, with that being said, he'll probably see some defense. He'll probably see uh, Larry Nance defense, man. Somebody who can probably keep up with him, match his foot speed and stuff like that. So, you know, I don't know, man. But, you know, just just from peripherals alone, you know, he's definitely. But how many rebounds are going to be, you know, you're going to have Drummond down there. You're going to have uh, Robinson down there, man. How many rebounds is this going to be? A, how many rebounds is, you know, going to be going around, man? I, don't know, I might have to temper my expectations on Julius Randle. But, you know, it is what it is. Moving along. Uh, Pascal and Brandon Ingram, I touched on them. Uh, I love me some De some some Zion Wilson, uh, Pascal. He's been so iffy, man. But I can see him balling. I can see him balling, man. Like I said, they get all the minutes they can handle, man. Thirty nine or forty three. These starters, they get the minutes, man. Uh, he's in play. He's definitely going to be low owned. Uh, he's definitely going to be low owned, man. That price tag, though, man. What is he priced on? On Fandle, man, he's priced at. Oh, so he's a power forward on Fandle. Oops. Oh, he was right there. He's priced similarly, man. So, hey, you know, ah, uh, man. Definitely looked like a good play, man. Nice GPP. I'll be keeping my eye on Pascal Siakam. Zion. Like me some Zion. It's price similarly. It's a five hundred price uh, differential, but you know I like Z. I like Zion, man. Uh, he's that double double is definitely right there for his right there. He's been averaging a double double, so that's something you know. That's something you know to take into consideration. You know, so uh, between Zion and uh, Siakam, man. Mm -hmm. And moving along. We need to keep up with the injury news to Laurie Marketing. If not, then you might see guys like Otto, Port Otto Porter and uh, that is Young supposed to. He's probable, I think. So he'll probably, you know, see some action. So let's keep an eye out on uh, that uh, on Laurie Marketing. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. It's just a no for me right now. Everybody's healthy over there. It's limited in his upside. It's just a no for me. Some people, you just got to look at them and just say no. You know what I'm saying? 5,900, 6,400. I don't care. At the, when, I, when, I get, when, I get, when I get fixated on a person, it's just a no. I don't care what he does. I live with the results. Um, Larry Nance Jr. Oh, shucks, man. Uh, he's probably a no for me too, man. I just... He might be. I, 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 he, I have to think about it, but I'll, most likely I'll be leaning towards no. And I, you know, I could always go to somebody like T.J. Warren or something over 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 Larry Nance. Um, Aaron Gordon, I don't know what the hell he's been doing. I just gonna sleep, stay the fuck away from him. 
I'm just going to stay away from him. I don't need that negativity that he might be bringing to, to the table, man, because he, he know how to get it in. Then he know how to wet the bed too, man, straight up. You know, what's this? One for four. What's that? What's that, man? 20 minutes, one for four. What's that? What's all this shit about? You know? Uh, we need some upside, man. Any given night, he can give you 40, 50 fantasy points, though. You know? Al Horford, I don't mind the play. I don't mind the play. Uh, as long as he can stay out of trouble between uh, 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 with, with, with Vucevic, I think he's in play. Uh, Baisley, another one of those OKC guys, man. They, uh, look at him. They get the minutes, man. He's getting the minutes. It's getting the minutes. They just throwing them boys out there and letting them say, hey, go out there and do what you do. Look at the rebounds. The rebound opportunities are there for him. He will flash upside on you. You know, I don't mind the play, man. I don't mind the play. He's 5,800 on Draft DraftKings. What is he priced on FanDuel? He's priced at 6,300 on FanDuel. Wow. Wow. I definitely wouldn't mind targeting these guys in the same game parlays, though. Sure. All right, let's go. Chris Boucher, y'all know by now, Chris, Chris Boucher. I don't know what's up, man. Why they won't just throw the, give him the minutes, man? Who they got over there? Baines? Like, come on, man. It's, it's, it's got to be frustrating for Boucher. It's got to be frustrating. Look what he did in 28 minutes last game. I forgot the scenario, but he had 53 fantasy points, 22, 10, seven, oh, seven blocks. You know, he had a monster game, man. Nine for 13. You can't expect that all the time, but he does ball. Um, Bagley, I would love if he get off the minutes limit. Um, and then, oh, Nas Reed. You're going to have Cat, Big Cat. He's going to be out. He's going to be going up against the Clippers. He should get 28. He should get, yeah, he should get, he should get 20, if not 30 minutes. You know, he should get that. You know, low price. What is he on Fanduel? I think he's. I think he's. I think he's priced. What's his price? Uh, Forty-five hundred on Fanduel. A cheap, a cheap flyer, man. You know, I like him. I like Nas. He gonna be stepping into that role. Bobby Portis. They're gonna need Bobby Portis. So Bobby Portis has been balling though, man. In, in in limited minutes, you know, against that Boston game, they just wanted to see what they had. They only gave him like 15, 16 minutes. Then boom, they upped them. They upped them. Gave him another dime. Both games pushed him up to 26 minutes, and he been he been delivering. He's 5K on DraftKings and on FanDuel. He is. I, I, he might be in the center spot number one. Let me see. I might have passed him up, but he might be in the center spot. Um, 4600. So, you know. Now, uh, the rest of these guys, Crowder, I don't no, I'm he can he can he can smash in the spot, but he's a no for me. Uh yep. Yep, 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 yep. Dirty clothes down there. Moving it on to the to the center spot. We're gonna leave it at that. Um Jokic, he's just in play every day, man. Don't don't even, man. Drummond, in play. Vucevic, outside of Jokic and Drummond, I can, man. I love the spot Vucevic is in, man. I just love it. I just love the spot he's in. He can give you a 50, 50 burger at 8,300, you know. Uh, someone you can, you can pivot off of. He's priced around the same. Uh, on uh, FanDuel at 8,400. Man, I love the play. Man, um, center spot is going to be fucking, it's going to be, it's going to be crazy, man. It's going to be crazy. Be safe out there. Because I like, I like, I like all these centers, man. My favorite mm -hmm. as of right now is going to be, uh, damn, I can't even, I can't even give you guys a favor, man. This is going to be hard. Good luck out here in the center spot, y'all. I just, mm -hmm. Hey, right, bro. Good luck out here in the center spot, man. I just, man, I don't know what to say, man. Damn. Then you got Bam. You got Bam coming in at 8K selling lead price. 
without 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 Jimmy Butler, you know what he's going to do. He's going to have to step his usage game up a little bit. You know, step his usage game up a little bit. Going up against Milwaukee, I like the play. Uh, you're going you're gonna to have you're going to have a Lopez out there for whatever minutes he's going to play out there around a the three-point line like a damn two guard trying to bring trying to bring um Adebayo out of out of the paint but um, defensively I'm not, I'm not I'm not worried about I'm, I'm not worried about uh Lopez not too much worried about Bobby Porter either and and Bam Adebayo is, is is one of those type of guys that he can switch he can you know he can jump on Giannis you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. He's just got to stay out of foul trouble in this one because they're going to be bringing it to him. Giannis is going to be bringing it. DeAndre Aiden, he'll be, uh, you know, 7-400. Uh, he can smash, but I'm not on him. He can be facing Steven Adams. You know, it is what it is. Price similar at 7300 over there uh, on FanDuel. Um, Thomas Bryant, another center. If you want to go cheap, if you want to go cheap, it's definitely not on DraftKings, but on FanDuel, you'll get Thomas Bryant at 5,200, bro. 5,200, man. 5,200 going against them Bulls in the first, in that, in that, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a high pace, fast, faster pace game. Going up against Wendell Carter, he's getting his minutes, he's getting his shots. Uh, you know he he can he can rebound the raw he can rebound the ball. I'm 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 almost willing to bet he can get a double double in this game. So man, that's somebody you can look forward to, man. Especially on Fanduel, I, I, he's a no for me on DraftKings though. Wendell Carter Jr. right back at you, another play. Right back, he had a good game against Golden State. This is what I mean about those five them, them fast paced lineups. Look, he had he played against Indiana, six rebounds. Atlanta, he didn't he didn't do so well, you know he could, I I would I was looking for way more rebounds from him against Atlanta, but then here you go Golden State they out there shooting bricks, thirteen rebounds, both teams out there shooting bricks. Uh, over here you get him at fifty one hundred over here on, on DraftKings you get him at sixty one hundred. He's in play. Um, Miles Turner. Miles Turner. Miles Turner been having a party lately, man. Check him out. Five blocks, four blocks, eight blocks. This shit can't. This shit can't be. He can't keep doing that shit. He probably could, but you know, it is what it is. So that's a big chunk. Those blocks are a big chunk of his fancy points, man. What is he on Fanduel? Seventy two hundred. Uh, yeah, that's fifteen points right there. That's 24 points off blocks right there. So, man, wow. I had to point that out to you guys. And, you know, oh, Mason Plumley, 5,700. Mr. Stat Stuffer himself, lick him. Check him out. Nine points, 12 rebounds, six assists, six points, nine rebounds, five assists, three steals here, three steals there. You know, 14, 8, 6. He's been stat stuffing the stuffing the stuffing the stat sheet, man. He's been waiting, you know, he's been needing to get a starting rotation, man. Look at look at look at that. He's been hitting value every time. And he's his games are getting better and better. Going up against Golden State. That fast play, that fast pace matchup, man. Man, check him out. Check him out. And then Mitchell Robinson, he's, I'm just, just going to be a no for me. Going up against Drummond. Serge Ibaka, he's in play, but, I, man, I probably still won't get there. You know, for the simple fact that they, he, he, he's only playing 20, you know, 20, 21 minutes a game. And I can't, you know, I can't get down with that. I can't get down with that. I need the minutes, man. Uh, Tristan Thompson, man, I wish they took him off the uh, off the minutes, minutes restriction. Uh and then he got to fight with he got to fight minutes with uh, he got to split minutes with Tice Williams. Just come on, bro. This this man needs to be playing thirty minutes a game. Baines is a no for me. Uh, going up against Embiid too? Oh, hell no. 
And Brooke Lopez is a no, a no for me. Uh, Dames is a no for me. Williams, Williams had a good game though. Last, look at, look at that. Williams had a good game, man. He was efficient in them. Tw what he had, twenty-two minutes, thirty fantasy points, twelve, four, one, two, four. You know, can't expect to see that shit every night, but you know, it is what it is. And then Hassan Whiteside, man, they just need to take the chains off of him. Just why? Just why? Why? Just why won't they? Just tell me. <sighs> man. Ed Davis. Let me see what Ed Davis been doing. He played 13 minutes last game. Man, maybe he might get a chance to get a little bit more minutes in the absence of Carl Anthony Towns. But, you know, that's about it, though, what I got, man. But, like I said, This Golden State, this Golden State game in Detroit, I like this game for, uh, I like this game for um, same game parlays, uh, rebound opportunities, assist opportunities, all that, all that good stuff. It should be there. It should be points being put up in this game. So uh, keep in mind that. Blake Griffin should be back. Derrick Rose should be back. I don't know if Okafor should be back, but these guys should be back. Uh, Blake Griffin is another guy that, you know, he can put up some peripherals. In a setting like this, you know, in a setting like this, going up against Golden State, you know, he could, you know, he can get you five assists, you know, six, seven rebounds, you know. Uh, keep in mind, he's a great passer. He's a good passer. Uh, so, uh Toronto and Philly, Toronto, those guys, they play a lot of minutes. The starters play a lot of minutes. Boston, the starters play a lot of minutes. Um, Tatum, Brown, and uh, Tatum, Tatum, Brown, and Marcus Smart, they out there all the time for rebounds and shit, playing 30, 35 minutes. Um, Toronto, they, they starters play a ton of minutes. Um, Washington and Chicago, Fast-paced matchup, good for same game parlays and prop bets. Um, I don't know what to expect from this game. This Milwaukee, Miami. Uh, I do, I do like, I do like um, Drogic. He's one of my favorite players on the slate. Um, and low key, Chris Middleton, man. Let me show you, Chris. Let me tell you about Chris Middleton. Chris Middleton has been. He's a small forward. He's been filling that, filling, filling up this stat sheet, man. You know, uh, that first game he had uh, fourteen and eight. You know, four and five, four and five. You know, that, those are you know some things to to look at, man. He's been efficient from the field. You know, ultra efficient from the field. So you know, it is what it is. Uh, where were we at? Uh, Milwaukee, Miami. Uh, Orlando OKC, right? So Orlando OKC. Um, you got Alexander. It's gonna be out there. Thirty-five, thirty-six minutes. Um, Baisley. Thirty-five, thirty-six minutes. You know, thirty-three minutes both games. Okay. You know, look at the stats. You know, rebound opportunities. Prop bet opportunities. Uh, same thing with Dort. You know, you know, minutes equals opportunity. Them guys gonna be out there, man. So you know, uh, New Orleans Phoenix. This is another fast-paced game right here, where uh, the starters in New Orleans they play a lot of minutes. Then they got guys like uh, Josh Hart, JJ Redick. Those guys are the usual suspects off the bench coming in, putting in a lot of minutes. So, you know, uh, you can look to those guys too. Steven Adams, he he he's gonna give you that eight and eight. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna give you like that six point. You gotta be careful when you're betting prop bets on his points and shit like that. But he's gonna give you eight nine rebounds and stuff like that. So that's something that you know you guys could uh, work around with with your alternates and shit like that, man. But uh. If they bring out the alternates, man, a little bit earlier, I'll get an alternate video out um, for a same game parlay. It's something that I'll be looking at, give you guys a good 
overlook or what I have put together. If I can get that out there, I'll get it out there. Um, that's probably it for this video, man. Y'all, y'all, uh, good luck, man. You know, be smart. Bet smart, man. We we running those alternates. We lower them, lower them. I don't care. Lower them as lower them as low as they can go if you have to, until you start getting the hang of things, man. You know. Uh, with that being said, I'm out of here, man. I'm tired, man. Peace.